Hi, I'm Hinek, and this was my first game jam. I'm a professional software developer, but not a game developer, so this is world is totally new to me. The Miss Jam appealed to me because I like the ideas from the four devs jam of the same art kit videos, and the time didn't have to be consecutive, so it was family and work friendly. When I first saw the art kit, I had so many ideas, because there's a bit of everything in there. Monsters, knights and swords, but also streets, office building and missiles. But many ideas were too complex and I feared that as a newbie I will not be able to finish them in time. Still, one idea stuck. The art kit is basically colorless. It is only one color on a transparent background. So I wanted to make a game that puts changing the color of the tiles in the core concept. My idea then was to create a puzzler that lets you change the color of the player. The player then can move through objects that have the same color. I wanted to make the game using Godot. The only things I created in Godot before were a Pong clone and a simple platformer. The working title for this project was Confetti, because you know, it's colorful and stuff. For this puzzler, I decided to make it a platformer and used Heartbeats tutorial on YouTube to set up a simple pixel platformer. For this I used the monochrome transparent packed graphics, mainly because white should be easy to dye in different colors. After 4 hours I had enhanced the platformer to use multiple tile maps, one for every color. I changed the color of the tile sets using Modulate. To let the player move through the walls when he was the correct color, I set another collision mask and layer for every tile map. The player initially collides with all four layers. When he collects an item, it first changes the color of the player, then changes his collision mask to leave one layer out, and then removes itself from the level. Then I created the first three levels. That should explain the game mechanics to the player while playing them. I also created gates to exit one level and the possibility to restart a level by hitting R. But the levels didn't look that nice. I had only auto tiles from one 3x3 block in the top middle of the art pack. So I wanted to improve this. And created three new tile sets, one for each color. I used the river and lake tiles on the top left to create something for the color blue. Maybe water or clouds, I thought. But I had to mirror and rotate them to create a full set. Next thing, I reused this tile set and subtracted a tile that's showing flowers and grass from it to create bushes and tree drops. I also added the tree trunks from the art kit and modified them slightly so long tree trunks can be drawn. Lastly, I used the brick tiles and some other tiles to create something for the color red and have some decorations in the levels. Back to the game, I added another tile map without collision and colored it gray for backgrounds. Then I completely reworked the three ex existing levels. And I was very satisfied with the look of it. It was simple, but it embraced this simplicity. I created the next two levels and uploaded the intermediates to HIO and GitHub. My sister saw a short video of the project in my status and asked me what the name of the rabbit thing is. A few text messages later we had agreed on Balthazar. The next days I had the growing idea that Balthazar sounds like a demon's name and I had the idea for an intro that I wasn't sure would be doable in time. The next morning I had the idea of strings being played every time Balthazar collects an item and that the pitch of the music will shift depending on the color Balthazar gets. So together with the levels 7 and 8 I added sound effects, music and the pitch shift. It didn't sound quite like it had in my head, but you have to compromise to fit the gem's time limit. On the last weekend I added menus and a font logo. Settings and progress were saved. The levels 9 and 10 came with a new game mechanic. A lever that can be toggled and then will move a wall or a platform. 
Also, I changed the color of the sprite slightly to make it more visible when moving through blocks. Then, the last evening, I had to make a hard decision. Create another puzzle that really makes use of the new lever, or create the intro I had in mind. Since I had the idea of Balthazar being a clumsy demon and wanted to integrate his backstory, I went for the intro. Turns out, I'm a really clumsy animator. <laughs> Finally, I renamed the whole project to Balthazar and submitted it about one and a half hours early, at about 2.30 a.m. Being part of a jam was a wonderful experience. Thanks to everyone involved. You're awesome. See you next time.